Hello, uh, sorry this video took so long to make and upload, but with work commitments or whatever, uh, didn't get around to doing it, but I should do it now. This is going to be my post um, West Highland Way uh, video. I'm just explaining a little bit what, what I took because my uh, original kit list was a bit rushed, the video I made was a little bit rushed, so uh, I'll just go through it in a little bit more detail now. Um, but before I start, uh, it's worth pointing out that I started my walk, I think it was the 6th of May. Um, so because of the beginning of May, it would be a little bit chillier on the evening, um, but as I found out, it was uh, hot during the day. So that is that would uh, explain some of the reasons why I took what I took and why I didn't take certain things. Uh, and also, because I started the walk on the 6th of May, um, it was the 4th of May, was the last chance I had to um, uh, get my kit all, all sorted because I had to fly up from Bristol to uh, Glasgow. So uh, I checked the weather report and uh, the weather report said that from Saturday when I was starting to Wednesday it was going to be hot sun and from Wednesday to Friday um, it was going to be cloudy uh, and, and of course because the forecast was that far in advance um, of course cloudy could mean rain so that's why I had to take some uh, rain gear as well. Um, if I was doing the West Highland Way again I certainly wouldn't do it over seven days, that, that was too long. Uh, six or even five days is probably what I would uh, aim for now. Um, but right, let's take you through exactly what I took. Right, here is all the uh, the gear I took. Laid out a little bit better than last time. And let's just go through it then. There's my backpack. Osprey, what's it? Exos 48. Without the, uh, the brain bit, this is the inner um, flap that comes down. There is an, another lid that you can put on top which with more pockets on it, don't need that. Um, I didn't need to take that with me. But what I did have are two of these uh, shoulder pouches which are fixed to the shoulders, uh, the, the arm uh, straps, uh, the shoulder straps, sorry. Uh, and my, my plan was to use uh, these for carrying water bottles. But as I found, <laughs> one was, I could put water bottle in one, but the other one, I had to put the uh, tripod camera stand thing which I'm actually using now to film this uh, had to go in the other one because I had nowhere else to put it uh, so that didn't quite work out as planned but I should change that for my next uh, my next hike uh, sleeping bag there rather sent 500 uh, it, it, it's a good good enough uh, sleeping bag down sleeping bag but I, I've been finding that I don't use it as a sleeping bag I use it more as, a, as like an over quilt um, because I never have the thing zipped up and I never lie on it either. I, I never lie because as anybody who's got down knows, when you lie on down, uh, it, you compress it, then it loses all its uh, all its warmth uh, rating and everything. So there's no point lying on down uh, a down sleeping bag. So I leave it unzipped and just over the top of me like a quilt. And that's just the, um, the dry bag I use to stuff it into to keep it dry and to compact it in my uh, rucksack. Uh, then we've got the tent, uh, Force 10 Helium Carbon uh, 200. Nice tent, um, it's a little bit cramped getting in and out of. It's classed as a two-man, but it, it, it's not, it's too small for that. Um, I have actually still got the, yeah, the poles are in there. The way I had it, I took the poles out and strapped them to the side of my, uh, my rucksack. Uh, that way, this you could compress it down a lot smaller and that went inside the bag, the rucksack. Uh, what's next? In here is just clothes bags, spare clothes, night clothes, things like that. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, gloves, hat, sun hat. Now if you've watched any of my uh, West Island Way <laughs> videos, you'll see that I, I never wore the, the gloves or the, the, uh, the, the woolly hat at all. Um, there was one morning when I woke up on Rannock Moor when I started walking when I did contemplate wearing them but I didn't in the end uh, and I'm glad I didn't but the sun hat was definitely uh, definitely needed um, and that was a last minute buy from Go Outdoors that was uh, and I'm glad I, I got that I should certainly take, be taking that with me again uh, move on to sleeping mat uh, Firma S Neo Air Light or X Light I think it's called and an inflatable pillow um, yeah, I don't sleep well at the best of times, so I need a good night's sleep, and um, yeah, that seems to do the job for me. Uh, here we got just a, a cheap foam, I think it's called a sit mat, um, that's from Go Outdoors as well. Very light, uh, ideal as well for um, 
making it easier to get in and out of the tent because you could kneel on that before you got into the tent. So, and also if you stop anywhere, uh, you know, it saves you getting your, your trousers uh, wet or anything. If you're sitting down on the grass or anything, that was, that was handy as well. Uh, puffy jacket, rab puffy jacket, ideal for in the evenings when it was a little bit getting a little bit chillier. Uh, ideal. I would never, um, hike in that because, uh, it's uh, goose down as uh, goose down and i tend to i'm quite a warm uh, hiker when i'm walking so you, you don't want to sweat in that at all so i'd never hike in that but that is just for hanging around camp whenever um if it's a bit chilly over trousers raincoat never even used them uh that's a cover for the uh, rucksack. I wonder what it was for a minute then. Cover for the rucksack, rain cover for the rucksack. Never used them, but obviously you've got to take them. This was Scotland, so you never know what's going to happen. Um, and like I said, the, the uh, from Wednesday to Friday when I was doing the last couple of days walk um, of the walk, it was, um, you know, it could have rained. It was, you don't know, so you've always got to take it. Also, it's good for a good wind protection. So if it's dry, but very windy, you could always put that on instead of anything else. It just blocks out the wind. Ideal for that. Uh, there's my cook kit. I'll make another um, video about that, uh, but that's all you need in a cook kit. Uh, trowel hand, hand, hand sanitizer, uh, toilet paper. Yep, you know what that's for. Um, towel. Right, this is what I used as a towel it might surprise some of you, but it is. Oh, if I can, if I can lie it out. It is only that big. Oh, let's get back. It's just that big. That is classed as. Um, I got it from Go Outdoors. They class it as a just a hand towel, I believe. Um, but that's what I used as a towel after I was showered to dry myself off after I had a shower in the uh, campsite. That's, that's, that is actually all you need. You don't need anything bigger. You know, the bigger the uh, the, the towel you take, obviously the, the more weight you've got to take, and the, and the more it's not just about the weight. It's also the more um, size in the in the pack it takes up. So that's all I, I used. That, that worked out very well. Let's fill that back up again. West Highland Way um, map. Strongly recommend. Uh, that that was a very good map. It's also nice to um, in the tent in, at night just have a flick through and see what what, uh, what the train was uh, for the next day. That was a very handy uh, little small um, head torch, uh, headlamp. Um, never even used it. Uh, it was light enough in the evenings, um, and when I woke up in the morning, it was already starting to get light. So didn't really need that at all. But obviously, got to take it. Uh, Multi tool. One of the smallest ones I could find. Um, never needed it, but it is handy if you need to pop a blister or anything like that. I mean, I was lucky, didn't get any blisters. Um, I don't really suffer from them, but I didn't get any. But uh, it's always handy for anything like that. Uh, that's a spare uh, lighter. I have always keep a lighter in with the cook kit, but that's a spare one. That's just a towel for drying out the, the, the pot after I've boiled some water or anything. Um, and also if there's condensation like there was a couple of nights in my tent for drying out the tent you can then pull it out uh, use it clip it onto the back of the backpack and it dries dries very quickly uh, water filter soya squeeze water filter and uh, so i think that's a one liter um, pouch filtering all the water this isn't ac the actual water bottle i took uh, i had two um half a litre ones, I think this this is, I'm not quite, quite so, so, uh, sure what that size is, but I took two half a litre one, uh, litre water bottles. Um, most of the time that was overkill, didn't need, uh, you didn't need to carry a litre. Um, there's that much water on the West Island Way, uh, half a litre would be quite ample. Um, got the filter, so when you, you know, you could always stop somewhere, um, filter some water, drink half a litre, refill it, and then walk off with half a litre, that, that's all you really need. Um, that's just a toilet, toiletries kit for uh, uh, mainly when I'm at campsite. There's toothbrush, toothpaste in there anyway, but there's also like a deodorant, airbrush, um, and also shower gel on that for when I was at the campsite. Uh, personal tracker, GPS tracker, um, and a normal GPS with the West Island Way plotted onto that. That I found very handy because there was, like I said, times on the West Island Way when I couldn't, couldn't quite know which way to go. Uh, 
and I couldn't be bothered to get that out of my rucksack because that was in the back of the rucksack. Um, so I just got that out of the, the, um, the waste pocket of the rucksack. E nice to see where, uh, nice to use it. First aid kit. I've just got one thing that I didn't have before in here, and that is the Compede. Um, it's basically like a, a wax stick. And if you feel a blister coming, it's no good once the blister's already, you know, you've already got a blister. But if you feel a hot spot on your, your foot or something, or, or some part of your body's rubbing, it's like a wax stick that you um, you rub on and it, it stops any chafing or anything like that. Um, I did use it on my feet, on a couple of points on my feet. I don't know if I was going to get a blister, but it's better to use it and not get a blister than <laughs> get a blister and wish you had used it. But that's my full first aid kit. That's all that's needed. Um, battery pack access oh can I get it uh, 16 16,000 milliamp hours I think I got that right um, battery pack anchor battery pack um, and that's a, a plug to charge it that's not the actual one I took that's just another one I've got um, because I wanted one that's got two USB there you go two SU, USBs on it so, you can, so I could charge this and my phone at the same time um, but like I say that's not the one I took but that's the one I've got now um, yeah, and I find that that charged my mobile phone, I think it was about five times. The mobile phone wasn't particularly flat um, each night, uh, but it charged it five times. So uh, that was ideal, because I was doing all my filming and uh, photos with the, uh, the phone. So I think that's it. Uh, I, shall, I shall now show you what I uh, wore on the trail, and then I shall show you how I packed up my rucksack.